Oh, it's still snowing here. Yeah, they're gonna freeze to death or get a chemical burn, so. Well, anything better than your mom's cooking. <laughs> Go on your butt. There you go. <laughs> so it's uh, February 15th, 2020. We are at Queen Elizabeth Wildlands for a two night winter camping trip. It's cold, it's probably about minus 12 right now I think. It's gonna warm up a bit tomorrow and then drop again to about minus 17 Celsius. We hiked in about an hour. We're just uh, getting things ready, we're gonna have a coffee. I think we're gonna do a super shelter. So hopefully that works out. We'll. Uh, show you as we go. We're gonna have a coffee, get a fire going, and get to work. So we're just starting to get our camp set up here. Thomas is a uh, dugout the snow all in this area is down as far as he can it's uh, hard snow and ice underneath there and it, he made it so it's fairly flat so our, uh, we're gonna put a ridge line between this tree and this tree and this tree then we're gonna hang the tarp coming down this way to block off the wind and in the front we're gonna put a vapor barrier yeah and uh, it'll use uh, convection to warm up our shelter so that is our plan. So our next step is to uh, get a ridge line set up and uh, make an area for the fire where Thomas is. So this is what we have so far. We have the uh, ridge pole set up between two trees. We have it uh, lashed with some uh, paracord. For whatever reason, the paracord isn't very strong. We uh, it just snapped when we were trying to tighten it, so we doubled it up. Hopefully it will hold.
sitting here, taking a break, having a uh, Nickel Brook uh, cheeky bastard, contemplating our shelter situation. We're running out of daylight, and it's not going to be, it's not going to be ready for tonight. So we might, uh, we brought a tent as well, so we might just uh, stay in there tonight and maybe work on the shelter again in the morning. What do you think, Thomas? For dinner tonight, we're going to have some baked potatoes, some steaks, and some red peppers. So we're just going to sear the steaks and then smoke them, right? Ooh, yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. It's uh, about a quarter after six. We're uh, finished uh, dinner. Got a bunch of wood processed. Got lots more over there if we need it. We're just gonna hunker down by the fire and uh, we have some service so we're probably gonna listen to the hockey game so it'll be a nice night it's not too cold it's what minus five you think <clears throat> minus five degrees Celsius not sure what that is in Fahrenheit but not too chilly cold enough so yeah we'll bring you back if anything exciting happens like wolves bears bears Sam Squanch. Yeah. We're just sitting out here by the fire. It's a bit of a snowstorm here. It's coming down pretty good. Didn't really expect that tonight, but now it says it's going to snow all night long. So. Hopefully it's not too bad of a snowstorm, but we're just uh, sitting out here. It's uh, pretty cold, so it's not really uh, wet snow. It's just sitting on us, and uh, the fire's keeping us warm and dry. So it's a good night. Just listening to the hockey game. Gonna make some hot dogs here in a minute. I had to move our uh, chairs back a bit because. Uh, the ice keeps melting, but what are you going to do? Well, it's still snowing here. Getting quite the accumulation. Snowmageddon 2020. Just uh, frying up some potatoes here. We were supposed to have them with their steak, but they were taking forever, so it's coming down. Not the worst snowstorm we've camped in.
Well, we're under the uh, tarp fly. It's a tent fly, so it's, yeah. yeah, it's a tent fly without the tent. So the elixir three. It's the uh, MSR elixir three. So we're in for the night. Just finished the hockey game. So we have this um, Coleman catalytic heater. It uh, uses uh, small propane tanks. So we're in here. It's probably minus uh, five, minus six outside Celsius. And uh, I don't know, it's probably 15, 16 degrees in here. I don't see my breath anymore, so. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Still, it's, uh, it's, pretty, warm. it's pretty warm. We're just in the sh long sleeve shirts right now. But get our, our bed situation set up. And then uh, hit the hay. Well, it's morning, day two. We slept pretty good. Stayed uh, fairly warm. I got a little cold with uh, rolling off of my uh, thermo rest. So. <laughs> on a bit of a slope so hopefully I'll fix that today because tomorrow it's going to be minus 21 when we wake up so just going to have some coffee and some breakfast and get on with the day so we've been following a fox trail and you can tell it's been, it's been following a rabbit Came up around here, did a quick zigzag up, probably around that tree, and burrowed. And then came this way, went that way, right into the forest. So that's probably all the yips we've been hearing all night. Is it? It's really good. Really, really good. Where's this ramen from? So this is a. It's called Fire Noodles from uh, South Korea, made by Sam Young. Mm. It's, it's So tonight on the menu we're going to have a rib roast, some mashed potatoes, and some asparagus. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the roast in tin foil and then um, just bury it in some mash for uh, two, three hours, you think? So there's probably about two feet of snow here, so you can see this line here is where we dug to. Then it was ice, then it melted over the next uh, day or so. So I think the 
the most snow we had was about four feet in Algonquin. And uh, it was tricky. We had to just shovel trails to go anywhere without snowshoes on. So this is this is doable. Put some salt in, cut the garlic and butter in, woo, does look good, mm -hmm. should be good, how is it? Yeah, not a bad winter camping meal. Anything's better than your mom's cooking. <laughs> It's, uh, what do you think it is, 10.30? Oh, bro, that sucks. Did you break it? Yeah. Well, we're going to have a tea. <laughs> Thomas broke his tea bag, but... We're going to have a tea and uh, clean up and probably hit a bed soon. It's a bad take. So what do you have on? I got my my wool out of layer. Yep. Another uh, zip up sweater. Yep. Nice. Sweater. Yep. Uh, a t shirt. Yep. Under layer long sleeve. Okay. And then I got my uh, snow pants. Some underwear. So it's going to be like minus 21 when we uh, wake up in the morning. So I think you'll be okay. Yeah, I think so. With the extra protection of uh, hand warmers. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I have them yeah. in every uh, layer I have. So I should be nice and toasty. Where do you have them? One every layer. <laughs> in my pockets. Okay. Well. Yeah. You're either going to freeze to death or get a chemical burn, so. I'll take a chemical burn over freezing to death any day. <laughs> All right. Well, we're just packing up and heading out. It's, uh, I think it's about minus 10 degrees Celsius. We have everything almost packed up. It's probably the worst part of winter camping is leaving, getting everything ready and packed and hitting the trail. Everything's a little frozen from condensation, so just get through it.